Hi, Katie Anna. I'm Katie Lopez. It's March 8th, and here's your latest news update. Tomorrow on Capitol Hill, the $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package is heading back to the House after the Senate Democrats passed the bill Saturday. If that bill passes through the House, it will head to the White House where President Joe Biden is expected to sign it, with little to no backing from the GOP. The legislation includes direct payments of up to $1,400 to most Americans, a $300 weekly boost to jobless benefits, and an expansion of the child tax credit for one year. It also puts new funding into COVID-19 vaccine distribution and testing, rental assistance for struggling households, and K-12 reopening costs. Happening today, those eligible can get their Johnson & Johnson vaccine at the Sugar Arena in New Iberia. 750 doses will be available. Vaccines are by appointment only from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. The number to call and register is listed there on your screen and over on our website, KTC.com. Efforts are happening to educate people about the coronavirus vaccine. The Kaiser Family Foundation and the Black Coalition Against COVID created a video series called The Conversation Between Us About Us, while vaccination rates among black and other community of color uh, steadily improving, they remain far behind white Americans. Happening tomorrow, KTC will be airing an hour long special called The Hidden Bias of Good People. Now it looks at equity, diversity and inclusion and how everyone has a hidden bias, but how can you recognize your bias and take steps to change for the better? You'll hear firsthand from the founder and chief equity officer of the National Training Institute on Race and Equality. That's right here Tuesday on KTC at 7. Beautiful forecast coming up here as we go through the day. We started the morning with temperatures sitting in the 40s and from there we're going to get up into the 70s eventually right around 71 degrees in the afternoon. Clear skies overnight tonight 49 for the overnight low. It does get chilly out there again, but looking ahead through the rest of the week, a slow, pretty steady warm up. Eventually those lows going to be sitting in the 60s. We got temperatures in the upper 70s close to 80 by Friday. Plenty of sunshine here through the rest of the week. Very, very quiet forecast across Acadiana.